So I'm going to show you first how you can integrate your HubSpot sales into your Outlook app. And we'll start on the Windows. Um, if you're using Windows, this is the process. And then I'll show you as well the Mac version. Actually, the process are just the same. It's just like how the app looks like on Windows and in Mac is a bit different, but the process is really almost the same. So in order to install the HubSpot, simply click the Get Add-ins, this part, and then look for HubSpot and click Add. Click Continue and click Get Started. So like if it's, I mean, if this check mark is already visible, it means your HubSpot is already enabled. So I just need to just refresh this one and you will see this icon in here if the HubSpot is already installed. So once this is already enabled, you need, by the way, if this is grayed out, it means you need to log into your HubSpot account. So if I click this HubSpot sales tools in here, I can see all the activity that you can track in, in that specific email address. But if the email address is not registered to the HubSpot portal, like the activity or the tracking thing that you can get is very limited. So also, by the way, if you're not registered to the HubSpot, you cannot see these fields in here. I'm going to show you how it looks. So let me just sign this thing here. I'm going to sign out to HubSpot and I'll try to log in again so you can see how it looks like if the HubSpot is logged out. So yeah, so if you click this one, I mean, this is the options. This is the fields that you can see. So there's no magic steps to do. You just simply need to log in to your HubSpot account. Let me just pause this for a while and I'll just log in in a minute. So I've already logged in. I'm going to refresh this one. And yeah, as I said, you can see all of the email activity. And I mean, this is the only thing that you can see if an email address is not registered to the HubSpot portal. So if you click the view company, like you need to add it to the HubSpot portal if you want to see more details. Now, the good thing about this HubSpot sales tools um, in Outlook is even though your the email address is not registered to our HubSpot portal, you can still track the activity or the clicks that on, on that specific email chain. So I'm going to, I did a test email under my personal email address and um, you will see this part here. It's, it needs to be added in HubSpot. So I'm going to try to click repri reply there, enable this one and then reply. I'm going to respond back to re reply one and then I will click this part here called track email thing you can also if you want this one to be um, to also have the log you can also do that and also like if you want to pull up your e your meeting links it's super easy in this sales tools. Simply click this one. Hold on. So manage link. If you have a lot of meeting links, you can select a lot of like, depending on your, your preference. That one. Yeah. And then as well, if you want to pull a specific template, cause how, cause we have some templates for our sales outreach, right? So you just simply need to click this one templates and then let's say I'm going to choose any there. I don't think we have much templates in here, but I'll try to just use the archive one, maybe this one. So here and click. So 
you want if you want this to be enabled both just simply check that and click send okay nor the send so let me open my email address in here okay and i will respond back reply reply jumping on the junk email but if i click the sales and tools here okay so you can see here like i opened the the email once so i still have data in here but again the details that you can get is a bit limited versus on having this contact email address into the hubspot portal because in hubspot you can hear like if it's not added to the contact list you cannot set like you cannot add deals you cannot add this person to the sequence like there's a lot of features that is disabled if the email address is not added into the hubspot portal but i'm going to show you later what's the difference now let's say you want this to be added into the hubspot contact list so simply click the add to hubspot and then you just simply need to fill in like the fields so yeah it's super easy just filled in all the asteris in order this button to be um, enabled it is grayed out because there are some fields in here that you need to put in so let's just add some tests in here oh my god why it's so slow so not relevant and sample.com lead status um figure out just use this one so because we don't want that to be added on our weekly newsletter like if you want to be added that person to a weekly newsletter simply click weekly okay so the hyphen one this is not mandatory life cycle we can choose other contact type other associated deals this is not important um it's not mandatory so once you already filled in all the asterisks this button here will be enabled and then it's already added so here on the view thing so there's additional features or there's additional details that you can get if you add this person into the CRM let's try to click the view contacts and yeah as I said with you if this is registered to our, our to our CRM you can um, straightly add a deals or you can register this person yeah so these are the things that you can do versus on having versus on keeping this email address and registered to the HubSpot account okay and then if you click the open in CRM as well you can see the exact activity um, this person is doing into your HubSpot into the website so currently I added this one offline like I I mean I did not register via email via newsletter or something so it's called it it's labeled as offline sources from sales now let me open other account let's open Stacy's email address so we can see the difference in here so sales so if i click the open in crm and if that person already made some activity into our website we can literally see all like what's happening like what pages she is viewing if she's checking our email address or stuff so on top of that you have also options to put a notes email and straightly call them via phone and um, create a meeting to that specific person 
so yeah it's there's a lot of things that you can do if you add that person into the HubSpot CRM platform but again since um, every contacts in HubSpot costs additional money you need to be careful who's you're gonna add into our um, into our portal or into our HubSpot yeah HubSpot contact list all right so let's jump into the web version and I believe the process for the Mac and the Windows is similar because we're using the web version. So there's two ways for you to install the add-ins actually. You can click the new message button and then click these three dots in here. Click the get add-ins and then search in the HubSpot and click this one, add, continue. And yeah, I think that's it. So once you're enabled or you install that one, you can see this part in here called HubSpot. Okay. And let me try, I'm going to try to remove that again. HubSpot. There's also other way, just giving you different option. You can also do this part in here. Click this one. Just refresh this. If you don't like that, process you can also click this add thing click add in and type in hubspot this one get it now i don't like this part i think the the most easier way is click is click the new message click the three dots click the get add ins type in hubspot add continue and then it will be normally visible if you already install that and log in your account and if i click this one this sidebar here will be visible the process for the app and the web are just the same if you want to sign out just click that add in settings like the settings are typically the same and if i type in let me just type in my personal email address, personal test, test one, send. Oh, I forgot to, yeah, I'm sorry. Test one, test one. And then if I click this HubSpot sales, just always remember to enable this part. And if you forgot, if you want to keep this enabled again, click the add in settings, click the log in truck in and make this one enabled. Um, you also have options. If you want to add more thing here, like if it is an existing contacts, um, just simply put that on the, on this part. Yeah, like the process is the same in the web. It's just how you install the HubSpot sales in web and app is a bit different. So yeah, hope it helps. And if you have any question or concern, please don't hesitate to ask.